All right, <clears throat> we're gonna go over some of the key features of the McMinn County brush trucks. I'm hoping all the firefighters down there that are gonna be operating these trucks will watch these videos so they understand the correct operation of these trucks. The first feature of the truck is there is no master disconnect. By simply turning the key on, you power up all the added on accessories and by turning the key to the off position, the truck automatically powers down. If you guys choose to add any accessories, please contact us. Incorrectly powered accessories will cause the batteries to go dead, okay? All right, the next thing is there are three remotes in the cab. There's the warning equipment, the fire pump, and the joystick controller for the forestry monitor. The first one, this controls the audible and visual warning uh, and the scene lighting and also turns the power on to the fire pump. Now the key has to be in the on position or the engine has to be running um, for any of this stuff to come on, okay? The button on the top left, mark siren, simply takes you through your three siren tones, okay? Each press takes you to the next tone. Okay. The one on the right, Mark III, turns on the power to the skid unit. This does not have to be used for the warning equipment to run, but if you intend to start the skid unit, you have to turn on three to turn on the power to it. These six buttons here control the visual and audible warning. The button on the far left is your responding button. That turns on your warning equipment to an aggressive flash pattern that includes white flashes, okay? Once you get on scene, you need to go to blocking right of way, okay? The button on the far right, the button on the left can be left on. The button on the far right, when you press it, puts you in blocking right of way. Blocking right of way turns off the white warning equipment, okay? You can also use blocking right of way if you're responding in heavy snow or rain if you're getting backflash from the weather. The other four buttons control the scene lighting. The top center button is front scene, left scene, rear scene, and right scene. You can use any or all of the scene lighting at any point. For instance, if I just want to take down on a car wreck, I can leave the rest of the warning equipment running, hit the center button, and my front uh, warning equipment becomes my scene lighting, okay? Any or all of these functions can be used in combination with one another. To run the fire pump in the skid unit, we must depress the number three. Once we do that, that activates the power to the skid unit. From there, the skid unit is controlled by the fire pump remote. We'll go over the operation of the fire pump in just a minute. And then, of course, the joystick controller for the forestry monitor. The skid unit must be engaged for the forestry monitor to become active. In other words, if you want to move the, the monitor in a certain position, whether you run the fire pump or not, you have to engage the skid unit by using the button Mark III. That turns the power onto the skid unit, and then the forestry monitor will run with or without the fire pump running. Okay. 